Hello children, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are keeping well. Now in today's video we will learn about measurement. I think all of you are aware of the syllabus of your math syllabus that this chapter measurement chapter number 9 is also there in your half yearly syllabus. Right? Now, children, those who have the books with you, you can turn to page number 124. Those who have the maths books with you, children, you can turn to page number 124. We are going to learn about measurement today. We are going to learn about measurement today. First, we will learn about measuring length and then we will learn about conversion of measuring units. Now children, when we talk about measurement, when we talk about measurement, we do measurement of length, we do measurement of weight or mass and also we do measurement of capacity. Now once again, let me repeat, when we talk about measurement, we do measurement of length we do measurement of weight or mass and also we do measurement of capacity now today we will cover only measurement of length today here i am only going to discuss about measurement of length please listen properly now to measure me measure length to measure length we use standard units to measure length we use standard units like centimeter meter and kilometer to measure length we use standard units we use standard units like centimeter meter and kilometer first let's discuss centimeter first let's discuss centimeter now what is centimeter in short centimeter is written as cm please remember in short centimeter is written as cm we use centimeter where do we use centimeter we use centimeter to measure short length to measure short length like pen like pencil like uh, see this safety pin right so to measure pen to measure safety pin to measure pencil see this is a pencil so to measure length sorry uh, to measure short length like what did I say pen safety pin and pencil we use centimeter so these all things are measured in centimeter we can also use to measure short height right uh, like height of a table height of a chair these things are also measured in centimeter so height of a table height of a chair right these things are also measured in centimeter okay now let's go to what did i say next standard unit is meter right next standard unit to measure length is meter in short, please listen properly children. In short, meter is written as small m. Small m. In short, meter is written as small m. We use meter to measure long lengths. We use meter to measure long lengths like this room. The room in which I am sitting. This will be measured in meter. Car, truck, bus, 
all things all these things are measured in meter now meter is also used to measure short distances for example the distance from your bedroom to dining room the distance from your drawing room to kitchen all these things can be measured in meter so meter is also used to measure short distance we also use measure, uh, meter to measure long height like the height of a building height of a tree these things are also measured in meter so we have discussed about meter we have discussed about centimeter next standard unit to measure length is kilometer let's go to kilometer now in short kilometer is written as km don't forget children in short kilometer is written as km now we use kilometer to measure only long distances we use kilometer to measure long distances for example distance between two cities distance between two cities can be measured in kilometer for example from sirampur to kolkata this distance will be measured in kilometer now let's summarize what we have learned just now centimeter is used to measure short length and it is also used to measure short height meter is used to measure long length short distance and long height and kilometer is used to measure only long length sorry long distance now i repeat once again centimeter is used to measure short length and short height meter is used to measure long length short distance and long height and kilometer is used to measure only long distance please remember children kilometer is used to measure only long distance right now let's know about uh, i think all of you have the book in front of you page number 124 or page number 125 also you can see let's go about conversion of length units what are these conversions of length units now we have learned about three standard units of length they are centimeter meter and kilometer the three standard units of length which we have learned just now are centimeter meter and kilometer now let's see how to convert kilometer into meter and meter into centimeter we'll discuss how to convert kilometer into meter and meter into centimeter i think most of you have come to know that 1 kilometer equal 1000 meter 1 kilometer equal 1000 meter so to convert from kilometer to meter we multiply by 1000 One kilometer equal thousand meter. That means to convert from kilometer to meter, we multiply by thousand. To convert from kilometer to meter, we multiply by thousand. Just see, wait. See, children. One kilometer equal thousand meter. that means to convert from kilometer to meter we multiply by 1000 to convert from kilometer to meter we multiply by 1000 for example if there is 2 kilometer what will we do to convert it to meter 2 kilometer equal 2 into 1000 equal 2000 meter right 3 kilometer 3 into 1000 equal 3000 meter 4 km to meter 4 into 1000 equal 4000 meter right next 1 meter equal 
सेंटीमीटर वन किलोमीटर सॉरी वन मीटर इक्वल हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम मीटर टू सेंटीमीटर वी मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम मीटर टू सेंटीमीटर वी मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू मीटर इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर वाई बिकॉज टू इंटू हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड वी विल मल्टीप्लाई टू इंटू हंड्रेड इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर थ्री मीटर इक्वल थ्री इंटू हंड्रेड इक्वल थ्री हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर फोर मीटर इक्वल फोर इंटू हंड्रेड इक्वल फोर फोर हंड्रेड मीटर राइट सो आई होप चिल्ड्रन यू हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ लेंथ इफ नॉट प्लीज लेट मी नो I'm going to explain it to you again. Okay? Now today I'll be sending you the first exercise exercise 9A. Right? I hope you will be understanding the sums which I have explained. I have explained you measurement of length. So I think after seeing the exercise the solved exercise you will get to know how to do the sums okay so no more for today we are going to meet in the next class till then stay home stay healthy stay happy and enjoy learning thank you